much time. See how that's not nice and solid like the rest of them now? So now you just pop it like that. See, this probably, this probably ain't holding water, is it? Nah, I'm using a stopper. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All that, you, you don't have to use that no more. Anything's gonna work like it was designed to work. Uh, get the, uh, ch the thing up, pop her up. Uh, yeah, you see that? Oh. See this one got the, the rings on it? Yeah. And the, yeah, that's what you needed on that other one. Alright, so um now this is what you need. See these things be falling off of here. That will stop the water? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And see it looks like this one. You had another ring on there that broke or something, because that's what this is. But as long as this thing ain't leaking, it should be good. Get that sponge out. You want that sponge in there? You don't want that sponge in there. Give me that sponge out. But throw that away though. Like 85 for the labor, uh, 50 for the, you know, 50 for that thing. Not necessarily you, just, just getting this shit fixed, period. Yeah. You know this shit be expensive as hell, but oh, yeah. out of all the plumbers I know, anytime I need you, you always... Oh, because I know how important it is, bro, yeah. you know? And why I call you out, call you first. Because, I, man, I told you, I went to college art school, bro. I know how it is. Oh, you did? You was cooking too? Yeah, but I didn't like it. I got out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, what made you get into this? Uh, I mean, just something to do, bro, because I came down here from Buffalo. Oh, you're from Buffalo? Yeah. So, uh, I learned HVAC. I was in the school for a six month program, and this dude, he uh, had his own appliance repair company. So, he was looking for somebody to help him with that. And that's how I learned my appliance repair skills. And then, um, I've always been doing commercial ever since I started. Working, um, you know, working jobs. I was doing commercial at first, so. So what you started in Buffalo? You started. I started here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I took the class in Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, I ain't know nothing about AC or nothing when I came down here. Y'all make good money doing that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, yes. I work for myself, so. Oh, yeah, okay. So I don't have to share this with nothing. Cause see, if you work for somebody, they want to pay you twenty dollars an hour and this and that. Right. I was like, see, I can make this all by myself, man. All right. All right. So you can tell your son how to do it by himself too? Yep. So. Yep. So one day he could uh, he could just be um, the manager, you know, and just right. and just have people working for us. And it's something that he, gonna, he can always get some money out for Yeah, so. exactly. You can always eat off of this. I've been in here three years. I've been calling that damn plumber. Somebody come fix my equipment at least about 10, 15 times. Damn. Mm. But I was thinking about um, my wife had uh, we went to ATL and uh, we went to this spot called the Crew. Mm -hmm. You ever you I know the Crew? Yeah, I ain't know the It's um. I guess some dude off of the reality show on it mm -hmm. with Portia. You ever heard of them? Yeah. Okay. 
So he got another spot though called uh, the Hot Dog Factory or something. You ever heard of that? Yeah, I heard of that. The hot dog. They follow me on Instagram. Yeah, because I was thinking about opening me another spot up here. They got another, they already got one dude that's trying to open up a spot, but they ain't do it yet. What, well, on a spot in Charlotte? Yeah, oh. no, it's off of, uh, in the university area. Okay. But I was thinking about opening up a spot, because I live near Steel Creek, near uh, Carolyn's area. Like, my, my realtor asked me that one, but the spot is Steel Creek, but I told it up too far. Man, that spot is, um... They, they just put like a whole bunch of apartments right behind Rivergate. Yeah, too. Yeah. They about to build a school over there, a, a charter school right on 160. So it's a busy area? Yeah, okay. it's, it's about to get, get lit, man, over there. Yeah, because I'm looking for a spot. I put up my bar on lounge. He said, I wasn't about the Steel Creek area. And I was like, I don't really know too much about it. I know um, they got a Blue I, I, Olive over there. You know oh, Blue yeah, Olive. Blue Olive there That's why it be popping. Oh, on Fridays and Saturdays, it'd be full, bro. Oh, so that's what, that's, is that my Valentine? Huh? Is that still creep my Valentine? No, they got two blue olives. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one, this, this blue olive, it used to be further down, like near, on 160 near the, uh, near the 77. Okay. But they moved out of there and came down towards, uh, you know where Tiga K at? Tiga K, Sacramento? Yeah. yeah. Right over there where, uh, where the Bojangles and that plaza. They move right over there. They be popping, bro. That's right down the street from me, so we be trying to go over there and get my name around there so they know I do the work too, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, um, I referred to my team yesterday. Oh, I appreciate it. Let me see. Show me some money. Uh, why can't I get this here? Stop wearing right. Yeah. It's supposed to go right in here. There's a hole right here. There's, there's, let me see. There should be a hole straight across. Hold that. Turn on, yeah. Pick up that rod. 